Good afternoon from Silent Lake Provincial Park. Just up here for three days. It's a nice uh, summer-like fall day today. So I thought it'd be a bit colder out, so I did bring the, my shelter that I use uh, in, in the shoulder season, which is uh, actually camping inside the dining shelter with, uh, with a tent inside. This is what the inside of my, what I call my shoulder season set up. So I'm inside a dining shelter with, with all the walls up that blocks um, any uh, any rain that might happen, but it also blocks the wind, it gets a bit warmer. When I run in the stove, or if I have to run, run the heater, which I don't have to this afternoon, but I might have to on Friday or Saturday morning, um, it will retain some of the heat, like it won't get that hot in here, but it'll, it'll be nice in here. And of course I bring my usual stove with me and what I do at night is I have a small tent inside the tent and in the evening it'll go down to about five degrees here so we'll, we'll bring my heater inside there and it'll get up to you know plus 20 plus 22 degrees in there even when it's uh, you know zero or four degrees out here. Anyway there's uh, a few small waterfalls in the area that uh, I like to visit and uh, we'll get them out of the way. Tomorrow is Remember this day, so I'll be up in Bancroft uh, to honor our veterans. Uh, but meantime, uh, let's go find some waterfalls. Welcome to Little Falls. I'm here in, in, in November. There is enough flow here. I'll have to go back here, I guess, uh, maybe in May or June. But this is, this is just off the side of uh, Highway 28. Uh, just south of, of, of Bancroft, north of uh, Silent Lake Provincial Park. I think in the springtime, this, these little drops here would look, look real nice. There is another drop up the top here. That would be a nice spot uh, right there, a nice, nice flow area right there. Yeah, this would be a worth a, a drive back to in the spring where we, where we have really nice flow. This would be a nice spot. Well, this is a real small waterfalls. An acquaintance of mine calls it uh, Trickle Falls. The flow is okay for this time of year, but it, as you see, it's not very high, maybe about four feet. The aptly named Trickle Falls. Welcome to Egan Chutes. This is actually, um, there's an upper and lower part of the, the chute here. This is the upper part as the uh, York River comes flowing down here. It's easy to access. You uh, walk down the uh, ATV trail for about uh, 750 meters, and then you will uh, see a trail off to the left that you can walk down. It gets you right to the top of the falls here. Here's the bottom part of the uh, chute. Still trying to see if I can safely get down to the bottom of that. There's a nice view of the uh, lower chute. The 
the best view of the base here will be on the opposite side over there. There's no way of, of getting over there. You can't really see like the drop here and over here. You really can't see them from, from this side of the, of, of the York River. This is Egan Shoots. Welcome to Farm Shoots. It's uh, as the crow flies, it's two kilometers in from Egan Shoots uh, by the parking area. But uh, as the roads go, and it's ATV roads all the way in. Uh, you're looking at about 3k, 3.5 possibly. Um, the railroad trail coming down here, it is a bushwhack of about uh, 200 meters. But you reward it with, uh, with this. This is a falls. Uh, that you can get up close and personal with, depending on your level of uh, comfort. This is the top of the uh, of the chute. I'm standing in the middle here, and again, I'm not sure if I can get down to a spot safely over there to the bottom of the chute. This is the base of uh, Farm Shoot. The upper part, you can't see it well, you can just really see it right up just past there. Climbing down over here. Wonderful view. Another shoot uh, in between uh, Egan shoots and farm shoots, and that's right here. York shoots. There's a view from up top. So you can see the uh, full length of. Uh, of this uh, chute, as I said, it's in between uh, Egan chutes, about 800 meters away, and about five or 600 meters uh, upstream of farm chutes, just around the bend. Good morning from Silent Lake Provincial Park. Uh, a lot has changed in the last two days. When I arrived here on Thursday, it was sunny and about 19 degrees Celsius. I was outside in a t-shirt. Uh, this morning, it's uh, about 8 degrees. And I'm still inside my shelter. I will be packing up shortly to head on my way home. But we have been to uh, a handful of waterfalls um, in, in the past two days. Those are ones that uh, I had not been to in the past. But there are uh, at least two dozen waterfalls uh, within a short drive of this area. And I encourage you to, to find them all and search them out. They're, they're excellent waterfalls uh, to, to view. There is a book out there that you may or may not uh, know about that, that will list all the waterfalls in the area. It's called the Waterfalls of Ontario. There are uh, four editions of this book. This is the latest one. It's, it's by Mark Harris. Uh, inside, he highlights about a, a, a hundred and some odd uh, uh, waterfalls th throughout, throughout the province. But especially, uh, what I like is in the back, there's a catalog of over 500 waterfalls. And they, sh they show exactly where they are, they give GPS coordinates, uh, which you can plug into, uh, into a handheld or into a car GPS and, and find them without any problem. The ones that he highlights, um, he'll give again give exact coordinates and and give a written written description on, on how to find these falls. So I, I've been to 740 waterfalls in the province. Uh, so obviously not all of them are, are in this book, but it's a very comprehensive book, and 
and I highly recommend it. So now it's time for you to go out there and find some waterfalls. Thanks for watching another Camper 69 video. I, I really appreciate it and I appreciate any comments that, that, that you leave. Thanks again for watching.